Hello everybody and welcome back to another part of the best game on earth on the horse videos only related channel as you obviously know daily videos of only horse related games we're going to be continuing on our save file jumping on in to yet another session in secret of the magic crystal god damn this game it's just it's pulled me in let's get into our stable and and see what's going on we're gonna see today of course we have big wang horse <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see him, he is ma as majestic as I remember. Eat some feed, boy. Eat some feed. And uh, get a little drink as well. well. We'll give him a little scrub, maybe even a little bit of the stone. But there you go. Give him a little bit of a scrubby scrub scrub. Oop, oop, oop. He didn't like that. Oh, I do, I do apologize, Big Wang Horse. But let's get the pommel stone. Don't like that either. Oh, we, we do have some trophies, of course. We've, uh, we've been playing as... Uh, Big Wang Horse for a while now, and we'll, we'll see if we can afford anything new though, because there is some upgrades to be made. Um, we actually have the uh, the best version of the lamp already. The bronze one, we can unlock those, but honestly, steel, far preferable. We also have the oak wood bucket, which, I don't know, I feel like that's a decent one. I'd kind of like to get the cherry. I mean, we could get all the way down to, like, the gold and cedar wood. That would be quite nice, but we're, uh, a little ways off of that. Customizations, of course, as you can see, we're still we're still going strong with the uh, with that. We can go to the store and buy the Secret of the Magic Crystal Dress Up DLC, but that is for another day, of course. At the minute, we're just going to carry on with what we've got. We've got 174 coins though, so we kind of have the ability to do uh, whatever we want here. But I think I think right now we're actually in a pretty good position. Uh, we've got the flower on the back as well. I'm sort of seeing what other things we can get here. Because there is quite a lot of customizations. I'd kind of like the uh, the fancy spheres or the heart. Maybe even the colourful fan, but we shall see. Anyways, let's go out back into the, uh, the normal area. Go to the farm. And maybe decide what else we want to do. We could maybe go over to this area here, the blacksmith. We could actually upgrade our blacksmith um, once we get a few more coins Let's have a look. With the well needs upgrading as well. We need to do a few upgrades here and there around the village, as you guys already know. But we're in the we're in the forge. Of course, Big Wang Horse is, is very well versed in forgery, as horses naturally are. Um, so we can actually take a little look around here. Open up our book. See what recipes we have going on. Nice. We can actually purchase some new recipes. Uh, unfortunately, we're a little ways off of purchasing some new ones of those. Let's have a little look-see here. We might be able to go into the uh, the alchemy lab as well. I, f I forget where that is now. Is it the coral? There's a place where we can do a bit of alchemy for some reason. Um, <laughs> but there you go. Um, we'll actually maybe do a little bit of training while we're here. Um, yeah, let's, let's go for some training. The sled pull. Get our strength up. I think that's going to be good for us. Should hopefully help. As you can see, the sled pull is ready. Let's go. Big Wang Horse is struggling just a little bit here, but it's only natural. He is uh, hes still pretty good at this. He still knows what he's doing. Of course, that's a, that's a miss for Big Wang Horse there, but it's a minor setback. You can see he's still trucking along, doing just fine. And there you go. Little bit of a speed boost there. Let's carry this on. Let's pick up the pace just a little bit here. Here we go. Things are really starting to heat up now. This is quite a good run. The RNG today is well in our favour. We are uh, we're really on a good one. I don't know if we're going to set a PB here, but it's certainly plausible. This is record pace. Let's carry on. Let's keep going. Look at the speed. The majestic purple feather, pink feather even, helping us out. See, look, a 63%. I think that's pretty darn good. We didn't actually get a single one of them on time, apparently, but hey her. Uh, let's go do some obstacle course development. I think Big Wang Horse is actually just about ready for this trial. Again, hopefully RNG will be on our side today and we'll get some lucky... Uh, some lucky moves, but there you go. There's the first one on a perfect as well. I cannot believe it. And there's the pace. Absolutely incredible form here. 
Not a single miss. My lord. And yet another one. Oof. That is crazy. Ooh, the RNG is good today. Two forwards in a row. Can you believe it? And a backwards. Oh, this is this is unprecedented amounts of luck. My god, this run is just fantastic. Look as Big Wang Horse makes every jump with absolute style and aplomb. My goodness, what a majestic beast. It's a surprise actually that the uh, the pink shades don't uh, interfere, but I actually think he has become one with the shades and they actually enhance his natural powers. As you can see, he's just on the performance of a lifetime. Not a single miss. We've got another backwards up for the speed. There you go. A perfect, perfect jump and another perfect as well. And I think we're rounding off towards the end here. I think this is going to be the last one. And I think that has got to be one of the best runs ever committed in horse history. And that's going to reward us a 99%. Can you actually believe it? That is genuinely unprecedented. My lord, what a majestic beast. Uh, we'll, we'll do one more on the dressage course. Ah, uh, unfortunately, Big Wang is exhausted. That is sometimes the case. Um, let's go back to the farm. We'll take a little look around. Maybe we'll head out for some racing. Um, we could probably do that. Let's quickly enter the corral. Is the corral where we just were? Yeah, it is. <laughs> My mistake. We should actually go to the barn then instead. Here we are. Here we are. Let's uh, let's get some alchemy going. Do we have enough money? We do actually have enough money. Okay. So, we can seek a new recipe. Let's go for the 75 one. We've got the money. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Um, From an elderly witch. Okay, nice. Our horse spoke to the elderly witch and got ourselves this potion. We can actually buy another as well here. Why not? Um... The local ranger has given his, his grandparents' recipe to you. Awesome. Okay, so we've now actually got some recipes to go for here. Uh, we can maybe make those work. So let's uh, let's get to mixing. Oh, I don't think Big Wang has the ability. It's maybe because he doesn't have possible thumbs, but... Your horse is healthy. Awesome. Let's, let's, let's inject some steroids in this bobber. Let's go. Okay, I think, I think we're about done in here. Let's go to the gate, and this is where things really start to hot up for, for uh, Big Wang. We can do some really nice stuff here. So, we can go out, or we can gallop. The area cup competition of the fastest horse. Let's enter it. There you go. And in true high-quality gameplay fashion, this is a game that you don't actually play yourself at all. You just look at a screen where nothing happens for 30 seconds and then your horse comes back and they have either won or lost. That is honestly pinnacle game design. I've I've heard of other other games that have tried to mimic this just genuinely incredible form, but it it, it cannot be done. It 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 simply cannot be done. No other developer has managed it. I've been hearing a lot about this Elden Ring recently, but look at this. We won a cup. We won a cup. And we can actually go right in for another, for another 50 gold. We can make money. As long as we get some wins here, genuinely exhilarating gameplay. I, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I've heard a lot about this Elden Ring, but I don't know what it has on this game. I'm sorry, but this is the only game that we play on this channel that we have done for now 2,000 and something parts. We are uh, quite the ways into this series. We've been playing it for years since the day of release. Hopefully, the second game will come out soon, but honestly, do you really think there is any single area of improvement on this game? I, I genuinely do not think so. I think that this might be where gaming just never gets any better. But there you go, we won another cup, another 50 gold in the bank, and because of our winnings, let's actually go and do some races. We can join a multiplayer race, see if anyone else is online today. Let's just go a quick race, we'll let the game decide for us. 
And, of course, we head onto the courses. We'll try and get ourselves the uh, the different power-ups here. Um, and s hopefully, we can get a win. But we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Of course, power-ups. we got the magic crystals as well. Slows down your opponents ahead. A horseshoe for the speed-up. Protects you from any harmful effects. We've got the bucket as well as an obstacle. We've got the wings giving a serious amount of extra speed. The healing herbs removing unhealthy effects. And the speed jumps. For that little bit of speed boost, we don't always need those. But if we can manage to hit them, hit the apex of a turn, then we, we might be okay. So we'll, we'll try that out. But the race is actually about to start here. It looks like, unfortunately, um, I am the, the champion of this game and th therefore all of the other opponents have uh, have decided to not play today because, frankly, the competition would be just unfair. So we're going to start out and we're going to jump in anyways against the AI. But, nonetheless, still a thriving competition. A thriving competition. Hopefully... Hopefully we can get a win here. We've actually been, we've got a pretty good record on this game of, uh, of, of wins. As you can see, we take take the apex of the turn there. We might be able to get a power up here. There you go, we managed to get one. Uh, we got the healing bush. We don't actually need that as of right now. Um, but if we get slowed down by anything, we can. But we're going to use it now to get ourselves a different power up. There you go. Okay. So the, th these guys out in front, they do have the lead right now. That may look bad. It may look like we're lacking behind a little bit. But as you can see, when Big Wang Horse gets going on a straight, he has the acceleration of a stallion. It's it's frankly quite impressive that anyone can keep up with this guy. He is truly a masterful beast. Let's carry on. Unfortunately, we have got for the third time in a row now the healing herb, which is it's decent enough, but... We're looking for something combative. And there we go, we got it, we got it. So what we can do now is we can drop down a bucket and we actually slowed down this guy. Although he countered with a herb, that was that was quite the play there, quite the play. Ooh, the horse in front is looking quite anorexic. It also has wings, but decides not to use them. It's a strange choice, but um, I suppose there is place for it. I'll, uh, I won't, I won't pass judgment in this race today, but, oh, unfortunate, but we have a healing herb. Oh, but we've unfortunately been caught out by the water bucket once again. This is actually a ridiculously close race. This is the third lap. We might actually, unfortunately, take a loss here, which would be absolutely crazy. But we've got the straight coming up right here. We can take the inside. Oh, unfortunately... Uh, we're coming out with a, a pretty a pretty unfortunate result at sixth place. That is not really something we want to see. But we're, we're actually going to quit here and uh, c go back and we're going to jump into single player because it doesn't seem like there's anyone online. So we're just going to jump into single player just to get these races started up a little quicker. Underwater Cave is where I really shine though. Underwater Cave, Big Wang Horse really knows his stuff on this track. I, I, I doubt there's any chance any chance of a loss here uh we got some harsh competition i mean look at the booties and the bagel on this horse's neck that is that's actually gonna add some um some unfortunate air resistance that's not very aerodynamic aerodynamic so it's why we've got the feather actually that the feather and the flower on the butt is um oh god damn we've we've been uh, we've been taken over here but um it's actually for the aerodynamics speeds us up quite a bit and as you can see the inside line is unbelievably strong in this position big wang is way ahead it's absolutely crazy we can actually line that inside apex with a few buckets just to make sure anyone trying to follow in our footsteps is going to have a slightly harsher time i think if i remember correctly these bubbles going past are going to give us a nice little speed boost so we should Attempts to hit them at some point. We shall see if we can do that. And again, we get some more buckets. I do hear that our competition is following very closely behind us. Oh, and there is a, a rather difficult bucket trap here, but we managed to escape it. Therefore, our competition will probably run into it. And there's the speed boost. Beautiful. Unfortunately, a little too much speed, actually. Wow, that is... Uh... 
Oh, unfortunately we've been bucketed, and I think that was even by my own bucket, which is just a travesty. But we still stick with first. As I said, this is uh, this is really where Big Wang is is quite impressive, quite impressive in his skill. So we'll take this and we'll try and get there. Yeah, beautiful speed boost. This is going to give us quite the wide berth from the competition. If we can hit the second speed boost at a little bit of a tighter angle this time, I think we're going to be in for a, a really good situation here. But we unfortunately got slowed down, so last place, most likely at least, is going to catch up. As many of you know, the... Oh, yes, 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 yes. I managed to bait Santa. Oh, I need that. Oh, no. This guy got it and I didn't. I managed to bait Santa into that there, which is a pretty difficult task. It's, it's kind of a it's kind of a pro strategy, but as you guys know, I have many, 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 many hours in this game, so such a strategy is, is more than achievable for me, and we've actually set up quite the trap there. That might actually give us what we need to get a pretty sizable lead here with the bubble jump as well. This is going to be a cruising finish to a first place, and look at that reward of 50 coins and we've almost actually beaten the world record there that's very close um i think we'll take on the crystal mountain for our last race oh the sad face horse is here unfortunate but yeah i think i think we can maybe set a world record here let's let's give it a go i mean it's a little difficult in the early game just because as you can see everyone kind of bunches up to take the apex and it could cause some collisions, which is going to slow us down slightly. But, 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 there's a trick coming up that not many of these guys know. You've got to get it just right, but I think it'll allow us to take over. I think it's just round here. There we go, there you go. Take the inside line and look at that. We just narrowly missed the boost, but the shortcut itself actually provided us with a significant boost. And we can, we can carry that on into the future laps. As long as we can take that corner tight, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tricky. That the hitbox on that I have to say was a little unforgiving. I feel like I was I was well out the way there. But this speed boost should give us what we need to take this apex. And we actually got another speed boost back to back. Okay, luckily a little more forgiving with the um hitbox there of course unfortunately that corner there slightly poorly designed it's not the best unfortunately everyone kind of hits that no matter what but that massive speed boost there is going to fully push us into the first position and we had the cleansing herb which is going to give us a pretty big lead now and now if we can hit this little shortcut here if we can just narrowly keep to this apex i think i think we've actually got this in the bag because that's going to give us quite the advantage. Now, I don't think World Record is actually on the cards for us today anymore. Just because of these slowdowns, you need to get kind of lucky with your RNG with the multiple slowdowns kind of not coming off. Well, there you go, there you go. The tight, the tight corner is going to give us that speed boost that no one else will get. We actually get some buckets to plant down as well. Unfortunately, as I was saying earlier, if you're in first position, there's some power-ups you cannot get, so we're not going to be getting any boosts or anything. There is a few strategies in staying in the back early game to grab a boost and then taking that into the later laps to get ahead. It is a decent strategy, and it can be used for some skips on some levels, some some pretty interesting glitches, but we're not trying those today. This is this is trying for a well record in glitchless category. We got we got to try it. Ooh, unfortunately, we did miss the boost there. But honestly, taking the inside line might have might have been just enough to push us forward into first place anyways. I mean, if you take a look at the map now, just look at the gargantuan lead. This is yeah, this is this is crazy. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this. But I've actually taken a pretty wide line here, but it should set us up for a perfect, perfect shortcut on the next corner. Just get it lined up and take it tight, 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 tight. There you go, there you go. We got it, we got it, we got it. Take the boost and this should more than secure our victory. A little bit wide on there, but again, it's, it's okay. They're actually catching up considerably. I think, uh, I think a boost was placed by a few of the people in second place there, but... I think with this coming boost, it's in the bag for us. We've actually got the victory, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be heading in to a nice win. 
absolutely beautiful. Okay, it's coming around the corner here. Last turn. Come on, come on. Actually, sorry, this is the last turn. I don't know what gibberish I'm talking about. Here we go. And we clean up with a 113, which is pretty, pretty respectable. We actually got an achievement there, Star of the Crystal Mountain. Don't know how I hadn't achieved that prior, but there you go. And that's a pretty good one. Um, I'm wondering, do we go, do we go one more race? Let's give it one more go. I think, I think we can make up for that early loss that we had in our first race. But you've got to remember that uh, Big Wang was actually kind of exhausted from his earlier exercises. And he did win two cups. Two cups prior. So, okay, look at just the, the amount of difference the speed boost makes is, is truly impressive. We unfortunately didn't get any power-ups, but... Now coming into this, grabbing this power-up, I'm reckoning... Yes, there you go, we get a speed boost. Ooh, we did get challenged by another speed boost, though, which is unfortunate. It's kind of rare that that ends up happening. Ooh, we got a few of the competition missing the boost there. That is a critical error. Critical error. Now, I feel like in the early game, you always, in like the first lap or so, you always end up falling behind a little bit, and it's, it's never really that serious of an issue. I, I normally can make up the time later on, and this is a pretty short lap too. Um, so it doesn't matter all too much. I'm going to set up the uh, the buckets there just so no one else can grab that boost. Rarely do the AI ever grab that boost anyways, but this game has been updated constantly. The, there's been buffs and changes and tweaks to the AI, so they might be getting smarter as we go. We've got to be aware of that fact. So it's not always going to be consistent and they'll miss that boost. In fact, sometimes from day to day it changes. So, oh, unfortunate little bit too wide to the right. Now, it's actually fine that we missed that boost there because unfortunately we've been taken over, but we would have unfortunately seen a situation where that boost would have been near to useless um, because we got a slowdown straight after anyways. And actually, as you can see, in the long run, that's actually worked out for us in a huge way. We'll grab the boost once again. We're at a bit of a weird angle for this boost here. This is what I mean, look, we, we get slowed down immediately. Now, that's a pretty tactical usage of the slowdown by the AI. This is what I mean by their AI improving and becoming smarter and smarter. It's uh, it's actually quite impressive. The the developers are really on it. Um, they see when first place takes the lead with a boost and the AI retaliate with some of those last place power-ups, which are obviously a little bit overpowered, to be honest, but it's to be expected. It's... Uh, I actually think, if I remember correctly, ooh, we're going to actually unfortunately hit a bucket here. No, we went around it. But yeah, I actually think, if I remember correctly, reading an article that um, the, the Mario, um, Mario Kart games stole that feature from this game. This game actually did it first. And um, the Mario Kart games were, were a little behind and ended up stealing that mechanic where the last place people get uh, better power-ups. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for the races right now. We're going to leave. We, we've earned ourselves a nice bit of dough. Um, I feel like that's pretty good going. We should definitely save after that as well. There you go. Good, good, good. Uh, make sure we keep that progress going. And we can actually go back over to the stable and have a little bit of a look and see if anything else is available for us. Also, replenish some of our stat stats here, Big Wang, because he is feeling a little tuckered out after this day. It has been a big day for him. Let's enter the shop, and I'm feeling we can try and go for some customs. I'd like some better eyewear. Um, unfortunately, we need the dress-up DLC for that one, too. A lot of these need the dress-up DLC for, actually. But with our money, uh, I think we're okay. We got our first place here. Just look majestic. He knows He knows who he is. He knows the, the absolute fabulousness that he is today. Uh, we could check out our other horses as well, but honestly, as you can see, like, our other horse is invisible, so. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to, uh, I think we're going to end off the episode here. This has been a, a, a fantastic episode of Secret of the Magic Crystal. As always, the daily horse content coming to this channel, and obviously, 
if you cannot tell already, April's Fools. <laughs> I do this game every year and I absolutely love it. It's a running gag on my channel, those of you that have been around for a while. This is the fourth year in a row of me playing this game on April's Fools. I think it's hilarious. It's a really funny game. It's actually like, it's not good, but it's not awful. <laughs> And it's just, it's, it's a funny little gag that I do every year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.